guys, Zach Mueller here, welcome back to our video, and today I'm doing, um, some important records to me. I narrowed it down to five, which was difficult, because I've got 50 or 60 records at this point. I haven't count. My, uh, I've counted, sorry. My physical music collection is a couple hundred items. Records, though, is around 60-something. It, actually, it's only a couple hundred. It's a hundred and, like, twenty. And majority of that's records, then it's CDs, and then it's So anyways. I narrowed it down to five significant records. And I just wanted to talk about them a little bit. Because everybody has significant albums to them for whatever reason. Whether it's, you know, this was the, uh, this was the album for first Mr. Girl, like two. This was the album you, uh, you first bought. This is an album you marked it down. This was an album that changed your perception on something. I had to narrow it down and determine. And first and foremost, I'm going to go with the one that's a little less significant, but it's still very significant. Acid Baths and the Kite String Pops. This is a good album. Everybody who knows Acid Bath or has heard of Sludge has more than likely heard of Acid Bath and how astronomically hard they stuff to be find sometimes. I found this one and it was a slightly pricey record. It was like $30 to $40, which wasn't too bad, in my opinion. It was better than a couple hundred that they were selling for off this dogs. And it's in perfect condition. It actually came wrapped, I got it from Rotten Records. And it's just honestly. It's a very beautiful looking album. Um, it's got all the lyrics on the inside right here, so you can kind of figure that out. Which I, I, I always like that about this one. And this one's just significant because it really um, has inspired and shaped my doom metal tips at this point. It has kind of changed the way I look at sludge and all that, you know? It's just a kind of an important album. As it's changed my perception on sludge and just kind of taking me from seeing it like some niche genre to kind of this own thing. It's got its own sound, it's got its own atmosphere to it, you know? And it was just an album that changed that. Very good album. Next we've got <clears throat> Niles Italic. 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 This one. <laughs> this was my first ever Nile album. Now, Nile themselves is important to me, but this album in specific is very important. It got me back into death metal when I was going through a time where I was mostly only listening to black metal and industrial metal. It got me back into it, and relatively, the vocals on this one were understandable to an extent. And I just love the sound on it. I was like, wow, this is awesome. It now is one of my favorite albums standing, and I actually had to go out and get a patch, back patch custom made of this. It's, of course, a lot brighter as a back patch. Um, and you can check that out on my Instagram, because I upload pictures there. You know, a little plug in. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it's just honestly, it was an album that. I don't want to say maybe see death metal differently, but kind of revived my love for it and showed me what I was missing out on. So I, of course, always hold that album dear to me. It's a very pretty album, too, the record. Okay, I should be a little bit out of order. I'm gonna... Yeah, that one's going last. Okay. Next, we've got Hope. This is the album that really got me into record hunting. Um, because I couldn't find this album for life. And it's a clear version of it. There's a couple other versions out there. It's her EP, Embraced by Dark and Darkness, Darkness, Darkness Mists. And honestly, it just got me into record hunting, kind of sparked that joy. You know, made me look for records, want more records. Got me getting smaller, you know, I think this is a 8 inch record. It's the 8 inch one, it's the 10 inch. I got a bunch of 8 inches now, I've got some 10 inches. 10 inches are a bit hard to find now, so, you know. I only have two 10 inches, and like, 10, 8 inches. Next we got my first non-metal record, uh, non-rock, non-punk, 
non like extreme music. This is a dark wave album, Burton, Miami Murder, and it was kind of that album that was like, okay, yeah, I should probably some extend my collection, you know? After that I got a symphony album, two other electronic album I've been expanding out with more. I want to get a couple other albums and just kind of make my collection more broad in that way. And I just thought it was important as it brought my music taste just beyond the extreme horizons and kind of showed me that there's a lot more enjoyability and it inspired me to make my own set of music at bandcamp.com. You know? I have my own label now where I help people who make metal music and I make my own industrial electronic music. And lastly, Catatonia's All Hearts. This album is to a lot of people would be nothing sick. To a lot of people it's just not a type of album. But for me, it was a deeply emotional thing when I was on the first time. Especially when singing the song, uh, this one. I was listening to that one, and it... At the time, I was just going through a hard breakup with my second one. She cheated on me, and it was just... I told myself I'm not going to bother you. And for the longest time, I stuck with it. I was like, you know what, I'm not doing that. And then I listened to it. And just somehow hit And... It made me want to fall in love. It sparked emotions in me. It made me cry. It made me smile. It made me happy. It made me sad. You know? It's such an emotional mix. And to have it on record is actually one of my favorite things in my collection. Um, it honestly just made me feel But yeah, it was just one of these deeply emotional things I felt. And it was always kind of a touching album. And so I love the drugs that I've done as well. So that's always nice. And yeah, anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, if you don't like the video, dislike it, if you don't like the content, uh, unsubscribe, it's free, no harm to you, no harm to me. Uh, if you do want to get notified more, ring the bell, if you don't have it wrong yet. Uh, share the video to your friends, family, dog, uh, enemies, acquaintances, your teachers, leaders, cousins, uncles, just everybody. And uh, check out all the links in the, bank, uh, in the description below. I've got my band camp, I've got my Instagram, I've got the music use, I've got everything that you need to know. I've got a little spoil in the section if you want to buy a visual download on band camp. You can feel more feel free to do that. And anyways, our recommended album will be Catatonia's, De uh, Catatonia's The Fall of Hearts. Go listen to it. It might not spark the same emotions, but it, it's a good album. It's a good goth rock, goth metal album. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.